So I'm looking at the camera, yeah. Yeah, yeah look at the camera. That's, that's Just used to your setup, that's useless. all. G'day guys, it's Robert from Outback Equipment. Today with our tinny install, we're installing a brand new isolation switch, uh, switch panel and waterproof box. So with today's install, we're using this waterproof uh, switch panel box. Um, housing our switch panel box, we're gonna be running um, all our navigation lights, anchor light, bilge pump. Um, also fitting um, an isolation switch to the box. So that way when storing at home, uh, we're not gonna have any power throughout the hull. So there are some basic things you may need to buy from your local uh, tool shop. With the fit out of this one, we will need some pretty heavy duty twin gauge wire, uh, some heat shrink, and a couple nuts and bolts. The rest of the tools you should have there for pre-install. Okay, so first step in install, we're gonna be installing the isolation switch. Um, so we wanna basically be disconnecting any leads, our power leads from the battery, which we'll do first. With the isolation switch, we've chosen a flush mount. Uh, we've chosen to locate it on top of the battery where it's nice and close. Wires are, are short to the battery, um, so drawing less. So we've chosen to basically fit it alongside the box there. Okay, so at the back of the isolation switch, we do have two uh, posts. Um, in this particular setup, we will be wiring positive from the battery, positive to our buzz bar. Um, does require obviously your twin core and a couple of your ring terminals. Okay, with our wire crimps, we want to basically crimp off the end of your lead, making sure we've got a good contact with your ring terminals, making sure we're crimping it nice and tight for a good solid connection. We've cut our wire to desirable length. It doesn't have to be extremely long as we're flush mounting it to the side of the box. All it has to do is reach the positive terminal. With our isolation switch and battery box, we want to get an idea where it's going to be mounted. Um, up underneath the grab handle there where we'll be drilling our hole. So best to use a bit of heat shrink on the end of your ring terminals to help the protection. So at this stage we'll do everything finger tight. So before we finish off things with the isolation switch, uh, we're gonna move on straight onto our switch panel, our waterproof box, where ideally we wanna put it in a nice spot where it's accessible. Um, it's not gonna interfere where we're sitting down and driving the boat. Um, and a big thing, making sure we're not covering up any builder's plates or any information that uh, must be seen on the boat. Once we've found a location to install our waterproof box, we're taking off the fascia plate and we're drilling in a hole to uh, mount, to, mount the box. Once we've mounted the box, um, we've decided with our buzz bar, we're gonna be installing it inside the waterproof box, just up the very top there. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that right now. Once the box is installed, buzz bar's installed, we're gonna be drilling out our template for now for our switch panel. So once we've cut out our template, it is good to, obviously in the back of the packaging, it does have the cutout um, size. So you can rule about basically mark out a template before you cut your hole. So cut a hole, now we're ready to install your switch valve. So just pushing all your wires through there, you do have that rubber seal, so make sure that's all lined up. A bit fiddly. So once that's in there now, we're ready to drill, screw them in to, to fix your switch panel. Okay, now we've finished the install of the switch panel now to um, the box. Um, I've drilled purposely a hole at the bottom of the box here where we're gonna be running all of our wires through. Um, main wire, then obviously all your switch wires up to the top of the buzz bar. So I've removed the buzz bar back out of the box uh, with the mains so or your switch panel now installed with the wiring in the back of the actual switch, we're gonna mount our terminals, pre-install them and then fit it back into the box. So the back of the wires are actually already pre-cut. Um, so all we need now is our ring terminals. We'll go ahead and install those. And we'll go through the rest of them. So we've gone ahead and installed the ring terminals at the back of the switch. Now we're gonna go ahead and install them to our buzz bar.
Okay, so if you've gotten this far and following with the video, um, next step after um, wiring your wires to your buzz bar um, should hopefully look like this. In terms of your negative, there is one lead that's coming out of the back of the power socket, which makes it nice and simple. Um, this will be actually wired directly back to the battery. Um, in our rest of our wires, we've basically pre-cut everything to run directly back to the battery. Um, power lead will be coming straight from the buzz bar to the battery as well. Um, so we'll go ahead and now install that. This may be a little bit difficult putting it back into the box, um, but if you've already pre-drilled for your holes for your buzz bar, it should be nice and simple. So now with our pre-drilled hole for our, our wires, we're going to run those through now. Pull them all the way through. With the wires too, we've also decided to run them in the uh, side pocket. So now once you've pulled your wires halfway through, we've left that um, terminal there now to attach to a buzz bar. We'll want to attach that first prior to installing a buzz bar into the back of the box. So now we're going to install the positive onto the buzz bar now prior to installing it in back into the box. Nice and simple. Only other tool required for this one is just a shifter. All right, so now once you've installed your buzz bar now, we're ready to put the fascia of the box in now. With the actual kit does come with a little O-ring and your fitting screws for the fascia. So all now we're installing those four screws for your fascia. With your relax and switch panel, they give you a number of stickers organizing all your 12 volt accessories throughout the boat. Now with the wiring at the back of the switch panel, again we've cut that to the length uh, we're going to be fitting to the battery. Uh, we've got some QLT here with us. There is a couple different ways where you would actually wire it throughout the boat. Um, we're going to take the bottom of this rib underneath your bench seat directly to the battery. So with our QLT we want to start at the switch panel side, so basically install pushing it on into the wire and pushing it directly back to the back of the switch. Doing this we're going to have the, the proper cut length at the end of the battery. This is to help protect your wires for any corrosion um, or any damage to the actual core of your wire. Now we're at the end of your wires where we would mount to the battery. We want to go ahead and install another couple of terminal rings. Um, positive is going to be mounted to your isolation switch. Your negative is going to be um, wired directly to your battery. Alright, so back at your battery box and isolation switch, we've still got that wire, we're wiring directly to your battery. You're either positive to the back of the isolation switch, um, and again negative directly to the battery. We want to make sure your terminals are nice and tight, both ends. Alright, now that we've wired uh, your positive again to the back of your isolation switch, we're ready now to connect your battery up. I'll go ahead and do this. Nice and simple, positive to positive, negative to negative. Now at the isolation switch, now we've wired that up. Um, this is a just a single one way, because as a, as a single battery, we've only got the on position and off. Uh, so a good quick way to test, make sure we've got power to your switch. Um, we've got a little red little indicator LED lights are on your switch panel there, so we're all good to go. So a great reason why you should install an isolation switch to your boat. So when you store it at home, you know when jumping back in the boat at the marina, you can turn the key and go. Now we've finished the install of our switch panel. Uh, next coming videos, we'll be installing our 12 volt accessories throughout the rest of the boat. Um, if you've got any comments, um, leave a comment down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Um, thanks again for watching. We'll see you in the next video.